Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today we have a quick review about the latest updates from NB Miner, NB Miner version 40.0, as well as NB Miner version 40.1. Beginning with NB Miner version 40.0, they have added some additional parameters now that we can specify the overclock settings. We have power limit, core clock, locked core clock, memory off clock, voltage, as well as fan parameters. If you've been following our channel and seeing even what we do normally with the T-Rex Miner, it is so convenient to be able to specify these overclock parameters right inside the miner and not have to fumble around with MSI Afterburner. Sure, I'll use MSI Afterburner to find my parameters, but once I know them, it's just great to pass them right into the miner. And moving on to version 40.1, there's some improvements in false detection of LHR locks, as well as some support for future LHR GPU models. Don't know what that means yet. I guess we'll find out soon enough. We're going to test out these new built-in overclocking features in Windows Mining, and we're going to try to see if we can plug it into NiceHash to get it work there. If you haven't already subscribed, click down on that subscribe button. Let's get started. Let me begin by going to the NB Miner GitHub page. I'm going to be putting a link down below for your convenience. And I'm going to be using the latest NB Miner version 40.1. I want to have those latest fixes. I see NB Miner 40.1 underscore win.zip. When the downloads is done, I'm going to open up the folder where it is. Let me extract these folders out. Now that I've downloaded NB Miner version 40.1 into my downloads folder, one of my first tests was to swap the miner out and put it into NiceHash. I'm not going to cover that here. I've covered it before in previous videos, as you'll see above. And I'm going to be putting a link down below if you want to know how to update your version of NB Miner in NiceHash to the latest version. It will give you complete step-by-step -step instructions. Off camera, I've already updated the miner within NiceHash. And I even went into the benchmark tab for this Dagger Hashimoto, which is Ethereum NB Miner. I've updated updated the custom algorithm settings. I've passed in the typical LHR mode and LHR value. So we have the right LHR settings when we start the miner. However, when I passed in the power limit or the memory clock or the core clock parameters, whether it was single dash or double dash, it did not seem to make any difference. I even tried running the miner as admin when I was starting up NiceHash. Again, that did not make any difference. Let me show you. From this device, I'm going to start up the miner and I'm running this miner now within NiceHash. And I see I have NB Miner version 40.1 loaded here. My RTX 3080 Ti card, light hash rate is acknowledged. My using LHR mode of one and LHR value of 74 is correct and it's set there. So it is accepting the parameters I'm setting in. However, the additional parameters for the locked core clock or memory clock or power limit or set, those parameters seem to be ignored. It seems like I'm gonna have to do a little bit more work to see how I can maybe get it fully integrated to run native in NiceHash, but that doesn't stop me. I can just as easily run the NB Miner directly from Windows and specify those additional parameters. Let me show you how I do it. Going back to my downloads folder where I just downloaded the latest NB Miner version 40.1. I'm gonna click into it and I see NB Miner win, click into that, and I have a bunch of files here. I have my NB Miner.exe, that's the miner executable. There's some readme files, as well as there's some batch files, which are sample templates that I can use to try to mine different coins. Although you'll be mining it into their wallet, it gives you a good template file to create a new miner of your own. At the very bottom, you'll see this is one I actually just created it off camera. And start in Ethereum for nice hash CMI, Crypto Mining Insider. I'm gonna edit this file. I'm gonna put this complete text of this batch file down below. And in this file, I just use two Windows variables for the stratum in the wallet, because it simplifies the command line. And I'm just going to start NB Miner, say use device one. Algorithm is Ethereum on the pooling server is the stratums right here. My wallet is right here. It's currently pointing to my NiceHash wallet as well as my NiceHash stratum. So I'm going to be running this, pointing it right back to NiceHash. And then the additional parameters for LHR, for the LHR card. Now we see the new parameters, dash PL for power limit. And that's specified as a percentage. So 65 would be percent except in windows i have to escape it twice in a batch file so i have to put percent percent then i have a core clock offset of zero a memory clock offset of 1300 and a fan value of 70. so let me go to my batch file i'm going to right click and i have to run it as administrator because i'm passing in overclock parameters to the miner and when i try to do any device changes i need to do it as an admin i see this new blue text here and it says overclock this gives me my id my device power limit although this seems to be stated incorrectly it's saying 260 maybe that's 260 watts core clock is zero 
zero memory clock adjustment is plus 1300 and my fan is 70. So I am currently mining using the latest NB miner version 40.1, but I'm mining it right into my own NiceHash wallet and NiceHash account. It's very, very convenient because you didn't see me open up or play with MSI Afterburner at all. I was able to just come in here from my batch file. I could specify hour limit, the core clock, the memory clock, the fan. Let me close this miner down. Additional parameter two you may be interested in, probably one of my favorite, would be saying for the core clock, I want to specify locked core clocks, right? Because pass in 1300, except my power limit, I want to put that at 100. This way, it just gives it full power. I don't have to worry about it. Save this file. Opened up MSI Afterburner, and I'm gonna click the reset to make sure I have no overclocks applied from any previous mining. Right click on the batch file, and I'm gonna start my miner. I see I have MB Miner version 40.1 running. And in the center blue text, you see the RTX 3080 Ti, except this time you see it at 1300, signifying it's a locked core clock at 1300 megahertz. I'm logged into NiceHash my LHR mode of one and LHR value of 74. Clicking over to MSI Afterburner and it'll show me the difference. I have 100% power limit plus 1300 is my memory core clock, but I have a locked core clock of 1305. So that gives me more consistent and I think more efficient numbers as well as I've seen when I was doing locked core with T-Rex Miner. I'm getting 89.22 mega hash on the miner and it's running along really, really great. Unfortunately, I wish there was some additional updates for the LHR and hopefully that'll be coming pretty soon because they're evolving this LHR technology really, really fast. Getting 88, 89 mega hash. It's very consistent with what I was getting with version 39.7 of NB Miner. So if you're using version 39.7, and if you don't really need these extra features of the built-in overclocking, I would stick with it. But it is really handy, and I look forward to being able to use it. It's very handy to be able to pass those overclocks, especially locked core clock, right into the miner when you start it. I think it's great that NB Miner added built-in overclocking technology, and I look forward to their LHR improvements in future versions. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up like. Click down on that subscribe button if you haven't already. We welcome all your questions and comments. Please put them down below. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Happy mining!